Every year, Nordic Semiconductor employs students to work in their different departments. Last year, six students spent part of their summer working on a project called Behavior Monitoring. The goal of this project was to develop an IoT-based beehive monitoring system using Nordic development tools. This system may translate to any kind of environment that one would like to monitor and smartify. Over the course of nine weeks, the students planned, programmed, tested and soldiered before ending up with a final product. The monitoring system used three different sensor units, a processing unit and a cloud unit. After all of the data had been gathered, processed and sent to the cloud, it was then visualized to easily keep track of the conditions in the hive. Let's have a quick look at the sensor units used in this project. First up is the Nordic Thingy 52, a compact multi-sensor prototyping platform from Nordic Semiconductor. The Thingy 52 is located inside the hive and used to measure temperature, humidity and air pressure using a few of its many sensors. Next up, we have the bee counter, based on the Easy Bee Counter project by Hydronics on Instructables. Using an IR LED and an IR sensor, it's possible to detect whether a bee is passing through or not. As the bottom piece of bee is black, the emitted IR light will get absorbed unless something, like a bee, passes through the gate. With these sensors placed throughout the 24 individual gates, it's possible to monitor bee activity in and out of the hive. An Adafruit Itsubitsi NRF52840 Express featuring the Nordic NRF52840 system on chip is responsible for sending the sensor data from the bee counter to the processing unit using UART. Sadly, the bee counter is no longer active as it ended up consuming way too much power and struggled a lot with Trondheim's rough weather. Lastly, there is the Broodminder W weight scale a Bluetooth-based scale used to track the weight of the hive and the outside temperature. To read the sensor data, the processing unit of the system scans for the scale by address, reads the scan response packet, and then turns the data into weight and temperature recordings. This data can be used to indicate when the hive is starting to get full, saving the beekeepers a trip to the hive when they can check the weigh data instead. It could also suggest that swarming has taken place, which means that a great number of bees have emigrated from the hive. All of these sensors communicate with the Nordic NRF 5340 development kit, a DK with support for a range of wireless protocols like Bluetooth Low Energy, Bluetooth Mesh, Thread, Zigbee and NFC. This acts as a data collecting hub and uses edge computing meaning data gets processed as close to the originating source as possible. Edge computing reduces the amount of data sent to NRF cloud, decreasing latency and reducing the amount of required bandwidth. The last piece of hardware is the cloud unit, a Nordic Thingy 91. Like the Thingy 52, this is also a multi-sensor prototyping platform but utilizes the NRF9160 cellular module to add support for cellular IoT standards like LTEM and NB-IoT. This allows the Thingy91 to communicate with NRF Cloud, where data will be stored. The Thingy91 also has a NRF52840 system on chip, which makes it able to communicate with the processing unit through Bluetooth. The Thingy91 turns received data into a JSON formatted message, this is then sent to the cloud with a timestamp and name of the hive. Using the NRF Cloud's REST API, the data can then be accessed, and then we can visualize it using, for example, Google Charts. This summer, the students will try to improve the system. We will try to minimize power consumption, create our own website for displaying data, and use machine learning to add a woodpecker detector. Check out the rest of our videos to discover more about this year's summer project and the process of developing new modules for our smart system.